the fans questions. So fans, make sure you get your questions in using hashtag Metro Metro Contest. Get them in. So right now, unlimited fan Q and A. That's what the TV says. So that's what we're going to ask. Question number one. Eric from Vegas. This is a very sensitive question. Eric, thank you. Uh, DC, uh, DJ, how's your recovery going? Recovery is going good, you Eric. shoulder surgery, hence the sling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, recovery is going good, Eric. Uh, this is your name, right? Eric? Yeah, Eric from Vegas. It's going good. Um, I had rotator cuff, labrum, and joint uh, clean out. You know, after 11 title defenses, you know, 12 uh, championship fights, the old dog needs to get some rehab. So I, I got it cleaned up, and then you know, six weeks six weeks recovery, got to get strong again, and then hopefully me and TJ Doshaw can get this uh, match done in uh, Hobo July International Fight Week on a big, big, big card. Sounds good. Boom. So, some, very, we have some very relevant guests, so hence we have very relevant questions. The first one, Ashley, or excuse me, Tony from New York City. Khabib, what do you need to beat Tony at UFC 223? I have to come to show, no injuries, make weight, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. I thought he was going to be like, uh, I need to show up. That's, that's How do you see that fight going? A little bit about it. Right? Elaborate. Like, like somebody have to close us inside the cage, and that's it. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat him everywhere. Stand up. So if the kicking, commission punching. shows up. Yeah, um, my, my grappling is different level than him. He think he, gra he grappling with Eddie Brow and he's good on the ground, but I'm gonna show him what is <laughs> real grappling. I am so glad you didn't see the last show. Uh, I'm that. so glad the last show where DJ talked bad about you. I'm so glad. I you did didn't not talk that. bad about him. Oh, well. I said he's got to make sure he closes the distance against Edson Barboza. Uh, we'll Edson Barboza. Uh, I did pick oh, Edson. Like, you pick Edson. I did not uh. pick Edson. <laughs> but I'm a, I, I am. I am. I pick Edson because wow, he's been brother. he's been more active, and I felt that Edson. If you right, keep the Kyle, pressure on you. Kyle hey, from Houston. Let me explain <laughs> myself. I am loyal. Okay, I am okay. a loyal man. I explain. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Anybody who's not loaded up like no I didn't pick Edson. Ah, yes, I yes, didn't pick Edson. Did, you didn't I'm just no, playing. No, I picked Edson. Play. We talk about <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're right. injured today. You like <laughs> oh, oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> Kyle from Houston, Fabricio who do you think you're gonna fight next in the octagon? The heavyweight? Yeah, you. Yes, for sure. It's big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, I think so, you know, because I, I deserve it. You know, what, just, what, not just so now. Do you think you're going to fight for the title then? Yes, man. The UFC not say not yet, but I think <laughs> the next one, yeah, you know, I mean, so I, I just wait, man. Maybe I'm being naive, but who would be in line for the winner of this fight before you? <laughs> Me? Again? Oh, nobody. Yeah, yeah, nobody. That's what I'm saying. Yes, I, I said, okay, sorry. Yeah. And uh, I have a two belts in my home. You say three, I have a two in my home, you know? Mm. I want to put one more in, my, in the wall, you know? Yes. <laughs> one more, number three. And I, I hope so. I I deserve, you know, man, for a long time, you 20 years. The shot. Yeah, yeah. 20 years sure. fight, you know, not just now. You know, it started yesterday. I remember you know? watching you in Pride. <laughs> yes, back in the day. Yes, yes. I remember watching you. In Pride, yes. Uh, don't, don't hurt me, please. But I remember watching you when your stand up sucked. When you were like just a jiu-jitsu yeah. guy. This is like, <laughs> yes, you're right. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Just jiu-jitsu, you know? Yeah, I remember you like running around. Pride like, is in Strike yeah. Force, different events. And, no, uh, no, Strike Force, you had already cleaned it up. You were on the point. But in the... Pride, just jiu-jitsu. Yeah. That's it. Just jiu-jitsu. A lot of wins. <laughs> 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 All right, let's, let, still won. let's go to the phones. Thank you so much for uh, Fergus Gordon for getting your question, and I truly appreciate this. Uh, this question is for you, Amanda. Yep. If you beat Cyborg, do you consider yourself the greatest woman fighter of all time? Definitely. Definitely. For sure. I think this fight makes sense right now for me and for her. Because in my division now, it's not having nobody. In her division, not having nobody. Champions vs. Champions, Brazil, Brazilians. I think it's going to be awesome for both of us. Gotcha. Oof. All not, right. Nothing, nothing personal against Cyborg. This is a business. This is a fight. Hey, that's when it comes to business, make sure you get a lot of zeros behind that, you know, the commas. <laughs> that, because at the end of the day, if they can get you guys a fight for 200000 they would do it. So get about six hundred, maybe 800 maybe a million dollars. Who knows? Just make sure well, you think about it. Smart. And, and not only that, I, I, <laughs> it is smart. smart and, and what I'll tell you is, uh, personally, I mean, uh, Fabricio has already surpassed this, but you don't have as long in your career as you think you do. At least I didn't. I thought I had a little more, a little more time. I didn't. I ran out of it quick. Look at me. Look at me, I'm 31. I'm already 31? banged up. 31 got, years old, I'm banged up. 40. Got, look at me, 40. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a good, good looking 40. 40 yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, next question. Uh, Chris from Orland, or Chris Orland from Texas. Khabib, do you really wrestle bears? <sighs> Alligators, 
Pants. What? <laughs> anacondas. Anacondas. <laughs> you? No, anacondas. I don't like snakes. Anacondas. No. I scare snakes. Hey, just Yali anacondas, you know? Yali <laughs> here. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. He says, anacondas too, huh? I don't like snakes. <laughs> as, long as, as long as the alligator's mouths are like, you know, tape. Okay. Um, okay, uh, Josh from San Francisco, thank you so much for getting this question in. Uh, this was for a minute again. If you don't face Cyborg, who do you want next on your list? Uh, this is a hard question right now because uh, I think this fight is going to happen. Yep. Yeah. I don't think nobody else right now. I really think this fight's gonna happen. All right. I think we've been like already discussed hey, about it. Scott, oh. we then, just uh, uh, we just did what Scott asked me to do. I believe that was some breaking news because I work at the UFC. That's that's the only the second time I've heard of it. She seems sure of it. Write that down. I'm happy to hear it. Yeah. Exciting stuff. There's, yeah, I think there's already been talk about we've it. We've been working on. I think this the fight makes sense now, and I'm excited. I hope everything things work fine. The negotiation, and then we can make this happen. Boom. You're going to love not getting that extra 10 pounds, aren't you? <laughs> I love that. No more <laughs> diet, please. I'm going to take a while, and I might, like, be fighting 145, and then try to get it about. No no female fighter did this before. No. I want to be the first Multiple. one making no. history. Yeah. And I love it. I have a huge chance to do that. I mean, that's true because in the men's division, there's been multiple guys. BJ Penn did it. GSP didn't GS do it. Did GSP G did it, actually. Did he? Yeah. It's Randy Couture. Oh, that's it. right. Yeah. Randy Couture did it. GSP yeah. did it against Michael Business. So there's been multiple guys, but you'll be the first ever woman yep. to ever yeah. do it if, you know. Just to clean everything's up. I'm gonna go up to 145. I don't wanna. I don't wanna 140. Anything like that. I'm gonna go up. Make this thing easy to happen fast as possible. Now, now, if you win the belt, are you gonna stay there or are you gonna go back down to 135? I mean, there's only like two girls in the in that division, so it's a very small division. But if you win it, are you gonna stay there or are you gonna go? Go back down to 135. Uh. I want to get there first because to see how the girls line up Seriously, in the 145. On. Hey, and Jay, gosh. This, this no. <laughs> rematch, rematch. I can give you some time. <laughs> I can give you some time to the girls from 135 to like Make back on, you know? Make Back in the, in, the five, in the top five, and then maybe I can go down again. Yep. We will see. But I think it's like, I'm very excited for, for that, you know? Uh, that it's is a pretty awesome, huge actually. challenge for my career, and I'm one, I want to start this camp tomorrow, you know? Yep. Back home and then start this camp. All oh, right. Love Next it. question from Giovanni Gavazzini. Uh, you guys are killing me with these names. Really? <laughs> Come on. Like, I, Anyway, the question is, why are wrestlers considered better than strikers now? I didn't know they were, but Khabib, why are wrestlers better than strikers? Because, because if you have very good wrestling base, you can control where his fighting is going. You, you can take him down, or when he tries to take you down, you can defend. You know, like, you control, like, fights where you, you control where it, yeah. where it takes place. Like, everything. But, like, striking is not bad, but wrestling is, is a power. Wrestling is a base. The pressure or jiu -jitsu. The pressure yeah. is good, you know? Yes. The, pressure, the wrestling pressure is so different. You'll be a tire very yeah. fast. Uh, you notice that the guys, like, after they wrestle a bit, women too, they, they their striking isn't as crisp as it was. You get that uh, the lactic acid, all that blood yes. flowing in there, you get too. Yeah, for Khabib, yeah. is okay. Sorry. No, for Khabib, her. stay like a maybe 30 minutes to hold one guy in the ground. And then you not can still punch. Yeah. 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 Yes? Um, you feeling this? Yeah, some, yeah, like some, yeah. some, some people all are night, just built wrong. Night. He's just built wrong. Something's wrong with him. He shouldn't be able to do that. It's wrong. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, we got a question. Uh, this one is from Jordan from Seattle. Shout out to all my Seattle natives. Khabib, after you beat Tony, will you fight Connor in Russia? Uh, I'm going to make humble Connor. I'm going to beat Tony and I'm going to save Connor. Hey, you have to go on the line. Oh. Because yeah. <laughs> you have to deserve this. No. He have only one fight in 155. Yep. I am uh, 25 and all in 155. Mm -hmm. Undisputed. It, 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 yes, of course. Undisputed. <laughs> Undisputed. <laughs> and I'm going to take this build and uh, I, well, I, we'll you see know, what happens. I, mm. well, I really like what he's done. You, just, you don't worry about it. You're like, I don't care. I'm, yeah. I'm going to fight the guy that has the belt that will actually fight a fight. I really like that. And you know, like, uh, 
like fighters, but I understand these fighters. Fighters like try to make money with Conor, yep. but you know. And you can't you can't make the money with the man if he's not willing to you know, put himself in a position to make I, the money. They, no, they let you guys have the opportunity like, to make it. I'm not on this sport for make money. Yeah, I can make money with other stuff in Russia, like a lot of money, you know. But I come here for make history for for my legacy mm -hmm. and uh, first of all i have tough opponent tony ferguson oh yeah absolutely 100 percent he, he, from my opinion he's real real champ yeah he's real champ and i'm gonna smash this guy it's, it's my plan yeah I'm, gonna, I'm going to smash this guy make this guy humble too because he's a little bit stupid like <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> now like, I, 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 yeah, but you know, <laughs> he's he's tough opponent, Absolutely very 100%. good fighter. Yeah, but like personality, like I don't like him. Yeah. Now, if and if uh, you if you are successful, neither does uh, neither does Rudis. <laughs> no, he doesn't. No, <laughs> if Rishad you are, doesn't like him too much either. I see. If you're successful, you will be the first <laughs> ever Russian. UFC champion, yes? yes, yes. So that's that's history. That's that's a lot on the line. Yeah, a lot of people behind me. I have to train hard, make all, weight, all those people. stay healthy, yeah, like stay healthy, and uh, New York. Well, they can beat them. So the next yeah. question from Scott Ramsey: Stipe is on the verge of being the greatest heavyweight ever. Why is he the underdog tonight? Start with you. Yeah, just because France show a lot of you know he impress a lot. You know this punch knockout, but he. I, I don't believe he's the, the best all time now yet, you know? Maybe in two or well, three years, it, it's okay, maybe. Stipe? Yeah, Stipe. I think if he gets the I, defenses... In my opinion, the best in all time is a Fedor, my opinion, you know? Who? Fedor Milanenko. Fedor. Oh, Fedor. Yes. But for sure, maybe in two or three years, he maybe, yes, for sure, you know? He's for sure is the best fighter, man. He's good. But uh, not all the time, you know? This is my opinion. Well, and then in the day too, you you. Well, look I mean, that's cool that your opinion's wrong. Yeah. Oh my good yeah. lord. Okay. But I mean, but you look at all Stipe's fight. He's doing the exact same thing Francis Nugano did, right? He he knocked out Fabrizio yeah. Bruno to win the belt. He well, knocked out Bruno Santos. For, that's what people that's people, what forget. people forget. He's also got big power. Yeah, he's got you know? big power. So I, I feel like Stipe can knock Francis out, but people have kind of forgotten about that. Yes. People yeah. forget. I think yeah. a lot of the MMA fans out there have amnesia. You might want to go to your local doctor to get that looked at, but or, Stipe's have. Or just go to like UFC.com and look at the record. Bypass. That's literally get on all bypass. I do. Boom. I mean, people forget. They have they have amnesia. It's 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 a, it's a serious thing. I'm real worried about our our, our, our viewership out there. Uh oh. We oh. got winners. Oh, we got winners. winners. Sweet. And they have very difficult names. Would you pass that to DJ? <laughs> He's going to read the names. <laughs> for oh, so these oh, people oh. have won pay-per-view codes from Metro PCS. Keep the questions coming for your chance to win codes. Who, who are I'm, these I'm winners? I'm, I'm <laughs> Tell us about <laughs> these winners. Jay, Andus, Andujar, and uh, from Tampa, Florida, thank you so much for getting that question in. I, I, I truly apologize for butchering your name. Uh, the next person, Band, Bandai F. <laughs> uh, Independence in Missouri, thank I you feel so like much. I'm practical jokers. <laughs> Benson, uh, Benson Elliott, shout out to you. You wanted some. Uh, you won. And Eric, no last name. You won as well. Thank you guys so much for taking. The time to get your question is. Appreciate you guys. The show is. For you guys, the fans at home, get your question in.